up YouTube, as most of you guys know, the NBA 2K League is having a draft April 4th. All 17 teams will select 6 players to represent their organization and play 2K professionally. A few weeks ago, the NBA 2K League had a draft lottery. The Mavericks were awarded the first pick and the Warriors received the last pick. In this video, I will give my prediction for who each team will pick with their first round selection. This will be the most accurate mock draft you can find anywhere. Let's get right to it. With the first pick, I have the Mavericks selecting Fab. Fab is considered by many to be the best point guard in all of 2K. As you can see here, his defense is what separates him from most. That's a clutch steal in an MPBA championship to help seal the Game 5 victory. Fab is a great offensive player too, as you see the isolation here and a beautiful pass to the corner. He's one of the best passers in all of 2K. Fab is a great all-around scorer who can score at all three levels. He has recently led slight work to the Season 10 MPBA Championship, which is one of many of his MPBA championships. As you see the isolation, he splits the double team, goes to the rim, he's... I think Fab is too good of a player for the Mavericks to pass up with the first overall pick. I know some people will say Dimes is a bigger name, but I think Jonah knows that Fab is a better all-around player and a better leader. Drafting Fab will automatically make the Mavericks a title contender for the first season. The Celtics are the owner of the number two pick in the draft, and I th and with Fab gone, I think they still can get their number one player on their big board. And it's not the guy you expect. Not Dimes, but it is another point guard, and that would be Compete. The Celtics drafting Compete is a great pick. With Compete, you get amazing leadership, great offense, and great defense. He's an all-around amazing player. Just like Fab, Compete is coming off of an MPBA championship. He also led his Pro-Am team, GFG, to the 2K16 Road to the Finals Championship, where he unfortunately lost to the Druckerbachers. Here it is competing a five out isolation, beautiful pass to Fab for the wide open three. Compete's leadership skills are what separate him from the rest of the point guards. He's a natural leader that knows how to motivate his team and get the best out of his teammates. The Utah Jazz have the third pick. And with the third pick, I have the Utah Jazz selecting Dimes. Dimes is the biggest name in 2K, and after winning the 2K17 Road to the All-Star Game, he's considered by most to be the best 2K player in the world. Dimes has also led his Pro-Am team break out to several MPBA championships this year. The reason why I have Fab and Compete going over Dimes is mainly because of defense and leadership. However, the Jazz are going to be extremely happy to land Dimes with the third pick in the draft. Dimes is a great scorer. And he gets a lot of slack for his defense, but it's actually not as bad as people think it is. Drafting Dimes will turn the Jazz into automatic championship contenders. With the fourth pick in the draft, I have the Kings selecting Moody, aka Big Shot Moot. This makes Moody the first non-point guard taken. In 2K17, Moody helped lead Throwdown to the Road to the All-Star Game Finals where they lost to Steel Trail. In the PS4 Championship, he had a corner three to send his team into overtime, where they would eventually beat top notch and earn themselves a spot into the Road to the All-Star Game Championship. Moody has an amazing work ethic, and he is a great leader. The Kings will be very happy to get him with the fourth pick. The Pistons have the fifth pick, and I have them selecting another power forward, and that would be Ramo. Ramo was widely considered to be the best power forward in the game and some people consider him to be the most skilled player regardless of positions. Ramo can literally do everything. He's a monster in the post, he can shoot threes, great defender, great inside scorer. Ramo is also a great guy and a great teammate, and I don't see there's any way Detroit passes him up with the fifth pick. With the 6th pick, I have the Portland Trailblazers selecting one Wild Walnut. Walnut put up crazy stats during the combine, and he finished with a record of 91-9, averaging 34 points, 17.8 rebounds, and 5.3 assists, while shooting 73% from the field. Walnut was also a part of the slight work team that just recently won the MPBA championship, but in my opinion, his combine stats will make him too much for the Trailblazers to pass up on. The seventh pick belongs to the Miami Heat, which is run by you famous enough. 
And with the seventh pick, I have the Miami Heat selecting Timely Cook. Timely Cook was a part of the Steel Trail team that won the Road to the All-Star Game Championship. He is considered by many to be the best defender in all of Pro-Am, and he's a great all-around player that can do a little bit of everything. With the seventh pick, I don't see there's any way Famous passes up on who he considers the most skilled player left on the draft board. Timely will bring a winning culture to Miami, and don't be surprised if you see this team compete for an NBA 2K League championship. With the eighth pick, I have the Orlando Magic selecting Hood. Hood is a very patient point guard who is an amazing passer and can score on all three levels. Hood is from Florida, so he'll be right at home in Orlando. The ninth pick belongs to the New York Knicks, and with this pick I have them selecting a hometown kid, which would be Kid Kuda. Kuda fits the New York personality perfect. He already has a huge following with over 60,000 followers on Twitter and over 300k on YouTube. He's the star that New York needs and they'll be happy to select him with the ninth pick. With the 10th pick, I have the Milwaukee Bucks selecting Drake. Drake is a very good scoring point guard who can shoot the ball very well and is also a very good defender. Drake was on the GFG team that went to the 2K16 road to the finals. The Bucks will be very happy to get a proven winner like Drake with the 10th pick. With the 11th pick, the Toronto Raptors will select Radiant. Radiant is considered one of the best point guards on PS4 and he's clearly one of the best scorers in the world. Radiant excels in the pick and roll and is an amazing dribbler who can score off dribble at will. By drafting Radiant, Toronto will have one of the best offensive point guards in the league. With the 12th pick, I have the Wizards selecting Hotshot. A lot of people consider Hotshot as the best center in the world. He is a great offensive center who can do a little bit of everything. He excels in the pick and roll, pick and pop, and also in the post. Hotshot plays for the Pro-Am team Space Jam, and he has proven multiple times that he can be successful playing against the best players in the world. There is no way the Wizards pass up on selecting the best center in the draft with the 12th pick. With the 13th pick, I have the Indiana Pacers selecting Nate. Nate is a very versatile player who has proven he can play multiple positions at the highest level. He is an exceptional defender that has extremely high IQ. He is also a knockdown shooter and very smart on offense. Not only is Nate a great player, he's also a great leader and an even better teammate. In the combine, Nate averaged crazy stats as small forward. He averaged 30 points a game, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, and shot 75% from the field. With the 14th pick, I have the 76ers selecting Insanity. Insanity helped lead his team throwdown to the Road to the All-Star Game Championship last year on 2K17. He is one of the best leaders in all of 2K and will bring a winning mindset to the Philadelphia. Not only is he a great person, he's a great player too. He can do a little bit of everything on the floor. He can facilitate the ball, he can score, and he's a great defender as well. With the 15th pick, I have the Memphis Grizzlies selecting Kenny Gotwork. Kenny was the owner of the Road to the All-Star Game Championship team, Still True. He is also from Memphis. Drafting Kenny gives Memphis one of the best defending point guards in all of 2K and a great shooter as well. Kenny has extremely high IQ and is a great teammate. If Kenny ends up falling this far in the draft, there is no chance Memphis will pass up on the hometown kid. With the 16th pick, I have the Cavs selecting Sick. Sick is considered to be one of the best defensive centers on all of 2K. He's a very vocal player and in my opinion has the highest defensive IQ out of any player in the draft. During the combine, Sick put up crazy stats as center and I don't see any way that Anthony Morocco and the Cavs pass up on drafting Sick. With the 17th and final pick in the draft, I have the Golden State Warriors selecting like a pro. 
Pro is a great all-around point guard who has shown he can score at will and also guard the other team's best player. Drafting Pro with the last pick of the first round will be a huge deal for the Warriors. That wraps up my mock draft. Thank you for watching, and if you made it to the end, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash slayisland.